today's topic is products of electrolysis now first what is electrolysis so electrolysis is a phenomenon in which current is passed through an electrolytic cell current is passed through an electrolytic cell containing molten or aqueous solution and when this current is passed through electrolytic cell containing molten or aqueous solution it brings a chemical change bring in chemical change by oxidation and reduction by oxidation and reduction and this phenomenon is known as electrolysis now products of electrolysis so products of electrolysis depends on first nature of electrolyte second concentration of electrolyte third charge density flown solution and last is nature of electrode attackable or non attackable so these are the four criteria to decide the product nature of electrolyte concentration of electrolyte charge density flown through solution the fourth one is nature of electrode attacked or non attacked so electrodes are one is where oxidation takes place so oxidation takes place at anode and reduction takes place at now take an example so first example is electrolysis of molten nacl using platinum electrode if we use platinum electrode this electrode is non attackable nacl as it is molten nacl it gives na plus and cl negative ions at cathode reduction takes place so out of na plus and cl negative ion na plus will gain electron and we get sodium solid at anode cl negative ion will lose electron to give cl gas this is called primary change in this case when primary change takes place the product formed is stable in this form but you know cl gas does not exist as such so two cl combined to give cl2 gas so overall reaction is two cl negative ion to give cl2 gas plus two electron so this is called secondary change secondary change takes place if the product formed in the primary change is not the stable one now to find out the products of the electrolysis of aqueous solutions using platinum electrode we have to follow the trend first is at cathode there is always a competition with aqueous solution water 
H2O. So at cathode, order is Ag plus Cu2 plus and then H plus and so on. That means tendency to get discharged of silver is maximum and then copper and then H plus and then other metal ions. So that means if Ag plus and Cu2 plus ion are present in aqueous solution, then they get electron. They get discharged at the cathode. Otherwise, H plus ion will gain electron and we get because the H plus in aqueous solution exists as H3O plus. So it gives H3O plus will gain one electron to give half H2 gas H2. If metal ions other than silver and copper are present. Now add anode. Order is I negative, Br negative, Cl negative ion and then H2O after that sulfate and nitrate all. So now let us solve these three questions. First is aqueous solution of silver nitrate using platinum electrode. Now electrode is non-attackable. Now first case AgNO3 will give Ag plus ion and NO3 negative ion. Water will give H3O plus and OH negative. Now comparison is on these two fronts. First at cathode. Out of Ag plus and H3O plus which will gain electron. So keep in mind that order. What is that order? Ag plus greater than Cu2 plus and then H plus and remaining and at anode iodide bromide chloride OH negative and so on. <clears throat> Out of Ag plus and H3O plus ion which will gain electron Ag plus because Ag plus is because Ag plus discharge potential of Ag plus is less discharge potential of Ag plus is less and its tendency to get discharge is more lower is the discharge potential greater is the tendency to get discharged ok so at cathode Ag plus gain electron to give Ag solid and add anode. Yes, anode out of nitrate and OH negative ion. So nitrate is not appearing here, but OH negative ion is there. So that means OH negative ion. You two H two O plus. O2 gas plus 4 electrodes. So in this way at cathode silver solid is deposited and at anode O2 gas is liberated. Now second aqueous solution of H2SO4. H2SO4 will give H plus ions and sulfate ions and at the same time water H3O plus and OH negative again compare now there is no competition H plus ions are there so cathode H plus ion gain electron to give H2 gas and what about anode 
फेड एंड ओवर नेगेटिव आए सो विच वन विल लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन ओवच नेगेटिव आए Now, aqua solution of CuCl2. So you know, CuCl2 give Cu2 plus CuCl2 give Cu2 plus and Cl negative. At the same time, water H3O plus and OH negative. Yes, out of Cu2 plus and H3O plus, which one will gain electrons? So. As per order, Cu2 plus, Cu2 plus gains two electrons, and we get Cu solid at cathode. Now, at anode, out of Cl negative, OH negative ion, which one will lose electrons? So, as per the order, Cl negative ion to give Cl2 gas plus two electrons. Now, example number four. So, electrolysis of aqueous sodium sulfate. Using platinum electrode, so sodium sulfate will give sodium plus and sulfate negative, and water will give HCO plus and OH negative. So tell me, out of Na plus and HCO plus, which one will gain electrons? So see the order: Ag plus, Cu two plus, and then H plus. Nothing else. That means Na plus is not there. That means H. Plus, so we get HCO plus will gain electron to give gas H two out of sulfate and OH negative ion. Which one will lose electron? Obviously OH negative. I give two H two O plus O two gas four electrons. That means electrolysis of aqueous sodium sulfate using platinum electrode is just like electrolysis of water at cathode. We get hydrogen gas and at anode we get O2. Fifth is aqueous solution of AgNO3 using silver electrode. Now we have Ag plus ion, NO3 negative ion, HCO plus ion and OH negative ion, and at the same time silver. Now we have aqueous solution of AgNO3, and electrode is made up of silver, so it is attackable, so it is also participating in electrolysis. That effect of electrode. Now at cathode, at cathode, uh, we have Ag plus ion and H2O plus ion. So which one will gain electrons? You know better. It is Ag plus because first Ag plus, then Cu two plus, then H plus. So Ag plus ion gain electron to give silver solid. Now at anode, we have in competition. And no three negative ion, OH negative ion, and silver as well. So keep in mind, if electrode is attackable, that metal will lose electron at anode. So silver loses electron to give Ag plus aqueous plus electron. So in this way, is there any change in concentration of AgNO3 when we electrolyze AgNO3 solution? Using silver electrode, no, because Ag plus ion deposited at cathode, same number of Ag plus ions are liberated at anode. So there is no change in concentration of silver nitrate during electrolysis. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you very much. I am waiting for your feedback.